G'day, g'day, g'day guys, welcome to the mod shop. Very special episode today, why you ask? Because it's the first one I've done in like two or three weeks. Now, it's been Christmas, it's been very chaotic and hectic, hence why I don't have any videos. I will tell you that I planned to have videos, there were like two or three that I wanted to do. So we're going to make up with this one. It's going to be like an hour long. Just kidding. You probably would have noticed these two things behind me. Beep. The Jack Pacific First Order Stormtrooper. The Jack Pacific Kylo Ren. My original intention was to do them on the same base, having Kylo and Finn on Jakku, that little dramatic scene from Force Awakens. However, Change my mind. What I'm going to be doing instead is individual mods. Um, the first one, as you saw in the title, is the Stormtrooper. Second will be Kylo. So that one, you can go over there. So, first order Stormtrooper. Just dropped his gun. No wonder they can't shoot their enemies. Um, right. So what I'm going to be doing today with this is just a simple um, paint job really. I'm going to paint the gun up a bit, I'll probably put in some scratches and stuff like that, some battle damage. However, we're doing something very different, something I have never done before, so this could be a hit or a miss. I am taking inspiration from the Cosplay Chris video, the Jack Specific Flash mod that he did earlier this year for Justice League. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sort of replicating the pose that he did. So I'm going to be taking my hair dryer and applying it to certain areas in order to make it look mid-run. The goal is to have him on an angle gun up in the air, dynamic sort of look going on. So yeah, that's it. That is, that's all I'm doing. Yep. I have no idea how this is going to come out. Okay, so I don't have a Dremel or a rotary tool handy, um, which would make this a lot easier. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use this little scalpel. Or if you don't have a scalpel, box knife, Stanley knife, which is the same thing, but you know, um, any of that's fine. Uh, I had a scalpel on hand, so I'm just going to be using that. Um, and I've come up with an idea where I'm going to have this arm bent, and this one's going to come in across, and the gun's going to be held across his body like that. all the necessary pieces, made them nice and flush so that when I glue them back together they'll fit the way I need them to. Um, and you're probably going, what are you doing? What have you done? Um, I've just started the weathering process, as you can see. Going for the really dirty, gone through hell sort of look. But I've not done it on the actual figure itself yet, so I will demonstrate the process on the rest of it and I'm not actually finished these yet so I can continue doing that. Okay, so I've got two rods in there uh, and what we're going to do now is while that's drying is we're going to prime our plastic because this stuff is made out of polypropylene. It's not going to glue well with most stuff, 
So while we've got the hot glue in there for the rod, that's not going to keep the thing together. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this plastic glue, specifically designed for toys, um, and it's a two-part sort of adhesive. Where it's from Sellys, and all you got to do is use the primer pen um, and then apply the glue. And let's see. Let's just coat one surface with plastic. Coat other surface with plastic. Apply a small amount of glue to one side. Okay. So then, after that's finished, we're going to fill up the back with knead it to make up for that stuff there. But yeah, that's that's on pretty pretty solid. So I've done the leg, and let me tell you, it was a bit of a bitch to get on. Not gonna lie, but I think I've got the hang of it now. So I'm just currently priming this arm for gluing and then I'll be able to measure the distance between where this arm will sit here and where the other arm needs to be so there's enough distance for the gun. Okay, figure is done minus the needed but I'm not going to show me doing that because I want to wait for the final reveal to show you what it looks like because that's what it's about. It's about the reveal. So we're going to move on to pretty much the last bit minus that, which is the base and painting the base. The base itself is painted and sanded and all that. We're just going to take the same acrylics, blacks, the rounds and just paint away. Nothing too spectacular, just doing really sporadic um, sort of painting and just going in with a lighter brown now to give it some highlight. I'll probably go over it with some white as well, just for a bit more rocky look. The foam piece is done uh, and painted and all sorted. It's not the most detailed paint job, but it works because it's supposed to be like debris and stuff, so we're just gonna leave it like that. 
Um, next step, I've just got a picture of how I was going to set it up here, and I'm just going to use hot glue to stick it down. guys so it's finally ready I've got it just over here ready for the final reveal uh, all up this project only cost maybe $40 um, that was because uh, I had most of the materials on hand already uh, had the figure for free because I got it for a Christmas present um, had paint and foam and all of that only thing I had to pay for was the base and Glue, and I bought a few paintbrushes and stuff as well. I also got the needed as well. So, um, so all of that came to about forty dollars, and it went a long way, as you'll you're about to see. So, with that being said, it's time for the final reveal. Alright guys, for the last mod of the year, I'm pretty damn happy. It came out a lot better than I anticipated. The battle damage look, I thought at first, was a little uh, too much. The more the piece came together, the better it came out. And, you know, there were a few little touch-and-go areas that kind of frustrated me. Specifically with the gluing back together of the body parts and stuff. But it's all part of the adventure. With that being said, I have nothing more to add to this. Um, so I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I've got one more video coming out, and that's with Lauren. She has a video coming out tomorrow. Um, and then we'll have our final video of the year. And then I'll be coming back in maybe a week or two. With some more stuff. I'll probably start with my Kylo Ren. Which should be fun. But, anyway, that's for then. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on the piece. If you would do something different. If you want to try it yourself. Follow these steps and make it your own. Do whatever you want. I don't really care. It's your piece. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, hit subscribe if you want to see more content. Uh, click the bell if you want to stay up to date with the latest videos and whatever else is happening. Um, I'll put a link to my Instagram in the description because I'm always keeping keeping the viewers a little on the edge with a, little, a few little teasers of my projects. Um, so yeah, I'll leave my Instagram in the description. Um, yep, that's about it. So from me at the Mod Shop, hope you had a Merry Christmas guys, hope you have a Happy New Year and let 2018 be a better one than this year. Um, other than that, that's my last video of the year. So, I'll catch you in like 
a week or two. I don't know. Depends.